Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Okay, so we're on the last part, part three. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. Report. Okay, so we have to go through here. Anyway, to to get through there without setting the lasers off, so I think we've just got to shoot it. Check that radio out in a second. Snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. Just do a quick save. Why is this not hitting them? I heard the door go then, but... Throw the grenade now! Oh. 
I'm guessing he was the guy that came up before then. Okay, so we're going here. So they're coming behind me. Jump over that. Or oh, no, I tell you what, let's just uh, let's use it. <gasps> Grenade. Couldn't get away from it quick enough. Pooned. Oh. Quick save. Stop a quick look around. So we've still got quite a way to go, but this always feels like it's near the end, but it's not really. We've still got the parking lot to go through, and then we've still got to go through the uh, the Acer build and the big skyscraper at the end. Okay, I think we've got to jump onto those bits of coal. Whatever it is, the metal. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, good luck engaging me when you've got to get round here. Okay, that was poor from me, that really poor. Dead? I must be dead. Got him. 
Oh! Oh, what a surprise, a grenade, and it takes half me health. That was actually pretty decent. Oh, go on, we'll take the stairs then. Can you believe it? I bet they sleep with their rifles. I bet they've given them names. I guess. So, you don't have a name for your gun? <laughs> Hello? Hell no. You do? Well, yeah, kind of. Hey, let's hear it. Well, I call it Dick Justice. I rest my case. Engaging Perimeter breached. The facility has been compromised. Repeat, the Deep Six has been compromised. Initiate Operation Dead Eyes. The walkie-talkie military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. Okay. Chapter 2. Crazy. Nothing. The folder on the table. The mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway. Grim tail. Oh! Come on! <gasps> oh, run my sense of to 
figure this out. Best thing to do is maybe just try and shoot it with the Beretta quickly and then get out. That'll do. There was probably an easier way to do that, but... Oh well. <gasps> Whoa. Is that guy coming through here? Yep, it's happened again. Keeps happening to me, that. Jump it? Yeah. Okay, let's save it. Okay, how do we get in there? Switch, maybe? I don't remember. Okay. That is how we do it. Sounds like there's some enemies nearby. Glad I didn't go running in there. Come on, mate, you're not that good a shot. Okay. Can we go down? Gonna kill me. A five. Ah, jump. Nope, we're alright. Come on, Max, stop asking about. Hate the way you've got to go right up close to them to open them. I'm dead, I'm just so dead, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Oh, I'm dead again? Okay, maybe I'm not.
Wow, some, I was going to say, someone's got unlimited ammo. Switch to the Ingrams for a bit. Just let the commando ammo build up. The monitor showed me the way. Look at that, come on. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens. All but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens in the core of the plant. Oh, it's pathetic, because I saw him coming as well. Should have been ready for that. Oh well. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with the Ingrams. Got him? Nope. Oh, I thought I was going to fall then. Launch, yeah, yes, beautiful. Uh, okay, okay, but is that through? I have to grenade it. I'm actually going to throw a grenade rather than using the grenade launcher. And there was a little slag in there then. Wow. Can't be bothered getting the bat out now. Back to the commando. 